Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video. If you've never seen my face before, hello, my name is Becca. I post lifestyle content, college content, lots of vlogs. If my channel sounds like something you, you would be interested in, don't forget to subscribe and join the fam. Today's video is going to be a little tour of everything behind me. If you haven't been following my channel, I've recently redecorated and got this desk and I've been just decorating for the past couple of months. So I thought that today it'd be fun to share with you what I've done and I'm really, really happy with how it looks. It's definitely come a long ways because when I was first filming with the new desk, I literally just had a printer and like a picture frame on the desk. So it's come a long way, but I'm really excited to share with you everything. And I will be linking everything in the description box down below. So make sure you check that out if you find something in today's video that you really like. And yeah, so welcome to my channel. Welcome to today's video. But yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into the desk tour. So here is an overview of the desk. The aesthetic I was going for was more of a white and black with pops of color and so that's why that's kind of what's going on here but kind of not at the same time. This desk is from Ikea and I, I'm blanking on the specific name of the desk but I'll link it in the description box down below. This chair is also from Ikea, I don't know the name but will be linked down below. First of all, there's this printer, which is, it's an HP printer and it was like $200, I wanna say, but it's the HP MV Pro 6455 and it's seriously one of the best printers I've ever had. It was super easy to set up, super easy to use, and it has like little colors and my favorite thing about it is probably just that it can connect to my phone so I can look at the status of the ink and I can see if what it needs and if there's a maintenance issue I can see it all from my phone so it's really nice having this printer especially for college I mean this light it actually usually sits right on here just to provide more light because at nighttime it gets super super dark over here and that's not good for studying so I usually clip that light on this is a laptop stand I got it from Target inspired by Lauren Doan. If you guys don't watch Lauren Doan, you're missing out because she is definitely one of my inspirations for decor, but I'll also link her channel down below. Anyways, this was inspired by her from Target, and it's just this mesh style, and it matches this hanging wall thing, but I'll get to that in a little bit. This is just a little stand, and it has my laptop charger. This is for my camera, and then this is just another charger for the iPad. Next is my MacBook, which is a MacBook Pro 2020, and I customized it with this little background that I made, and then these little icons are inspired by Julia C. Christ, and I will link her channel down below as well. But yeah, anyways, this is my laptop, MacBook Pro M1 chip, and then it just has a like clear hard case. And I think it was just bought from Apple on the website if you're looking for a really, really good clear one. All right, this is the top part. This is like my little pencil holder and just organization holder, honestly. So the first thing is I have like a schedule that I made. So this is just with all my classes. I don't really want to show what my everyday schedule is, but I made this little spring schedule for school and it's been super super helpful because whenever i can't remember my schedule i just look at the paper and it helps me to stay organized when i'm planning my day so i really like having that and i highly recommend doing that when you're trying to stay productive and organized just so that you know how to manage your time and what time you do have in the day this is a little paper pad that i got from target literally in the dollar section but i use it so much this has just been super nice because it helps me to organize my days, I just think it's super cute. So it just says everything will get done and then it has like the day, things that you'll do daily and then just little check boxes for your to-do lists, which I love making. And then I just have my to-do list. When I'm not doing that one, I've kind of switched over to doing it here in my notebook, but this is my to-do list today. So yeah, that's what I 
keep my to-do lists in sometimes or it's just like a little notebook that I have but I got this from Etsy it's super super cute I'll link it in the description I really really like that notebook and then this is some pens that I got also from Target and I just use these for highlighting and my to-do lists and then these are some blue light glosses because with everything being online work school and everything else it's just super nice to protect your eyes and so I got those from Amazon these are some more like pens that I have and this is a little it's not an Apple Pen, but it's like a knockoff of an Apple Pen that I had before I got the actual Apple Pen. But anyways, I used to make like thumbnails with that and stuff like that. These are some of the pens that I have and they are from Amazon as well. It came in a pack of, I think, 72, but they're Heath Rowan pens. They're really, really nice and I like just decorating and writing with them just because they're colorful. This is the charger for my camera battery this is white out because when i'm writing in pen i really really need that these are my airpods maybe if i can get them out i don't know okay these are my airpods nothing special and then this is just a little stapler that i keep in there so that is that and then moving on to some decor that i have this was from target in the hearth and hand obsessed with that collection but this was just from target and this is just a little like flower arrangement it's not really a flower arrangement i just grabbed a bunch of flowers and i put them in this vase both are from ikea and then this is a little vase that i got in a set of three from target i need to get something to go in that because it looks so plain and boring but i haven't really found anything that i like yet to put in those so i haven't this is just a little candle. I love lighting candles, and so this is the one of the day. It's in the scent Cactus Blossom, so that's just happening right now. And then if you go over, this is a little side, like a side addition to the desk, but I got this off of Amazon, and it just is super nice to have. Like, I know that there's drawers and stuff, but this is just more storage, which is really, really nice. So this is the rest of those heat thrown pens that I have, and I just keep it in this mason jar because... I was gonna get a cute little cup for it, but I never got around to it, and this works just fine. So that's what I have. And then this is a four. This is a lighter for lighting the candle. This is a little mesh. Oh, what? I didn't even cut that off. That looks weird. Okay. This is a little mesh file folder, which I just keep books in here, books and notebooks for school so that when I have my zoom classes I can just pull out my notebook and start taking notes. This is basically a place to store more notebooks. This is my tripod. Got it from Amazon. It's super super cool because you can bend it in any way and it's just really nice to film with. All right and then under that shelf is colored pencils because for anatomy you have to color literally everything and so this has come in really handy and I still just have it in a little mason jar because it works. Behind that I have my scriptures and then this is my little journal. I got this from Target and it just looks like this. Oh the lighting's horrible sorry. Okay so I got that from Target and it's just my little journal and then this is a little daily joy devotional that I keep right here. And then behind that I have another candle from Bath and Body Works. I got a bunch of candles when they did that deal that they do at the end of the year and so I just store a couple candles here and so this is some more candles and I got these ones from I think TJ Maxx so I just keep them here on the bottom. This is a fall scent so it's just huge and I don't know where else to put it so I put it here. This is not part of my desk, it's actually part of my light in the room but it is currently under maintenance and so I have this here but it does not permanently sit here. Now going into the desk, this is the first drawer, very, it's not really organized, but it's kind of organized, I guess. So this is just some blank flashcards for my anatomy class. These are little extensions on the little side thing. You can hang stuff if you want. I have one thing, but I don't hang anything on it. These are just post-it notes and book markers if I need those. These are wheels for... The little that same thing but it's on carpet so i do not use those 
Okay, this is my marker and pen organizational thing that I have going on. So, and also my scissors, but nothing too exciting there. And then just calculators here and a little post-it note. Awesome. And then this is pencils and if you can't tell, I am obsessed with these pencils. I feel like they're just like the best pencils. These white erasers, seriously the best. I think this black organizational mesh thing, I think it's from Target as well. As you can tell, I have an addiction to Target, so that's where mostly everything I buy is from. And then these are just documents and papers that are important that I don't want to lose, so I put that in there. And then under that, of course, is like a little snack slash miscellaneous drawer. Tons of candy for studying. If you don't have snacks when you're studying, you're doing it wrong. So this is just a bunch of candy, and then this is ink refills, some glossy paper for printing pictures, and that is gross because that's dust. But these are just like humidifiers, not humidifiers, they are oil diffusers. These are just diffusers that I just put in this drawer because I don't know where else to put them. So that's that drawer. And then if you go over here, this is the little cabinet and back behind there are just notebooks that haven't been used. Well, this is a planner, but it was not used, so I just put it back there. These are the flashcards that I have for anatomy. And this is my anatomy book, my anatomy lab notebook. Well, that's not a notebook. A binder. And then this is my math binder that I put there. And then under here, okay, that's a little out of place, but this is my paper paper spot. So that's paper for the printer. And then this is just lined paper. This is a hole punch. And then back there, just a bunch of notebooks from previous semesters that I don't really know what to do with, but I also don't want to throw away. I don't know if anybody else does that, but you know, you just never know if you need them again. So that's what I have back there. Okay, and then talking about the decor on top of the shelves. So these shelves are from Target, you guessed it, but they're just black. And I think for all five of them, it was like $40 or something like that. So not too crazy. For this first shelf, it is just candles, obviously. But these are candles that are pretty much gone. I think they're all pretty much gone. But I just haven't thrown them away. I don't know. I just feel like you can keep using them until it's completely gone, but not really. And so now they just sit here for decor purposes. This is two out of three of those little vases I got from Target. And again, I don't know what to put in them. I really need to find something because they look kind of weird. This is a little succulent from Target and it also covers that little hook thing in the back. I just keep it there because it just covers that up. It makes it look cute this shelf so this plant is from ikea this is probably one of the most basic plants ever and this pot is also from ikea this is a little statue of jesus just just hanging out and then this picture frame is from target and then the picture is of tanner and i when we went to jamaica last year and then this is three out of three of those vases that i got from Target and then this plant I got from my mom and it's fake obviously but it is I think it was from like Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something like that so I don't think I could find it and then this is the Eiffel Tower I actually got that from Paris so I like keeping it up there because I just think it's really cute and then that's a picture of Tanner and I when we went to Disneyland that was like our first trip together so I think that is a cute little picture and the frame is from Target and then this plant is from Ikea, and I definitely like ripped it out, which that looks kind of weird. I shouldn't have done that, but I did. And then this vase, I don't know where it's from, but I got it when I got a plant from a small business where I live. So I'm not sure where you can find one if you are looking for one, but there's plenty of vases all over the internet. So I'm sure you could find one if you were looking for that specific one. But yeah, that's actually my whole desk tour. And that wraps up today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And don't forget to leave a comment down below. I respond to all my comments and I love to chat and interact with you all. So 
please, please, please do that. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to support me, those things really, really do so much for me. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.